flooding from the left and Nancy Pelosi and outside special interest groups and a vote for my opponent will be a vote for the Nancy Pelosi liberal agenda. And the liberal policies of Nancy Pelosi and Nancy Pelosi want to go beyond that. My opponent and Nancy Pelosi want uh, to follow. If you vote for my opponent uh, tonight, you will get the liberal Nancy Pelosi agenda across the board. If you want to follow the Nancy Pelosi liberal agenda, and if you look at, if you want to look at the liberal Nancy Pelosi agenda, and my opponent will be a vote for that entire agenda. A vote for my opponent will be a vote for every single Nancy Pelosi agenda item. On and on and on. But make no mistake, a vote for Abigail Spanberger will be a vote for the Nancy Pelosi agenda. From the Nancy Pelosi agenda. And look at San Francisco, the home of Nancy Pelosi. Do you want to turn Richmond into San Francisco? Along with Nancy Pelosi, revert to the Nancy Pelosi liberal agenda. That's because of the liberal Nancy Pelosi agenda. <laughs> and I know what you'll get if you vote for Abigail Spanberger. You'll get the failed Nancy yeah. Pelosi liberal agenda every time. Thank you, Congress. If you want to vote for the Nancy Pelosi failed liberal policies, vote for Abigail Spanberger with the liberal agenda of Nancy Pelosi and the, and the United Nations. That is what Nancy Pelosi and Obama want. On the left, you have the failed policies of Pelosi and Obama. If you vote for Abigail Spanberger, the result will be Nancy Pelosi liberal policies across the board on every single issue. And you've heard it tonight. Millions and millions of dollars are coming in from Nancy Pelosi in every leftist group put in place the failed agenda of Nancy Pelosi. Well, I question again whether Congressman Bratt knows which Democrat, in fact, he's running against. Because I am not the Democrat who supported single payer in the primary. I am not Nancy Pelosi. And I am not President Barack Obama. I am a woman who grew up in Henrico County, who grew up in this community, who was taught service, hard work, and a commitment to the belief that the American people can be anything, and we will lead the way in this world. And that's who I am. I want to serve this community. It's the community that made me who I am. And I ask for your vote on November the 6th. Abigail Spanberger is my name. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen.